600 million years ago, Australia was part of the supercontinent known as Pangaea, and the sea that surrounded it was called the Panfilassa, which was a warm sea. 250 million years ago, Australia was so close to polar regions that it was covered in ice. This caused a mass extinction in animals. 200 million years ago, the Tethy Sea formed between Pangaea and it began to split into two continents, Laurasia and Gondwana. Australia was located in Gondwana. During this time, the world started to heat up again. 140 million years ago, Australia became a warm and moist place again, as it previously, it was hot and dry. 135 million years ago, Gondwana began to split up. 100 million years ago, a further increase of temperature in the world, thus causing sea levels to rise. The result of this was that Australia turned into a group of islands as the sea called Aeromagna Sea submerged parts of Australia. 65 million years ago, there was a rapid drop in temperature around the world, causing mass extinction. Today, Australia is separated from the rest of the world and it has its own continent.